Hello, Piero. Hello, Marcia. Nice thank you. you so thank you so much for your availability. We are quite honored to have the possibility to run this video interview between Milan and Portland. Um, you are certainly one of our uh, most dearest uh, alumni. Would you like to introduce yourself, please? My name is, thank you very much, first of all. My name is Piero Fenato. I'm Italian, as probably you can understand from my accent. I was born in uh, Montebelluna, a small town in north of Venice, 45 minutes from Venice. It's a shoe district, and I've been living in uh, USA for almost six years. And I'm working in Nike as an innovator director. And uh, I will say that footwear making and footwear creation has been part of my life since I was a kid. Since that my parents were born and what they lived their entire life in this district of uh, shoemakers. I started making shoes when I was 14 during my summer break. And then it became part of my life. So. I, I, I moved here with my wife and my son six years ago, and then uh, I can tell you that it's a fantastic experience, and I probably pass more time abroad than in Italy, since that I work in uh, Asia, and I work for a German company before Nike, and now I have this fantastic experience here. Piero, when did you study at our Sartoria? I studied in Sartoria 20, years ago and uh, I, I start and approach our tutorial because I had a, a good friend that I met in Indonesia that uh, knows Paolo, one of the teacher of our tutorial and this good friends gave me an advice when I was working in Indonesia for another big company and I was there as a developer and a quality control. I started as a quality control and then I moved to a developer and he, he suggests me to to approach Paolo and because I, I showed to this person the desire to become an engineer, a footwear engineer and a pattern engineer. And I also show a little bit of attention for designers, which is something that I still love. And he said, all right, you should approach Paolo. He is a teacher of our tutorial and, uh, and my life changed since I approached this, the, the teacher. And uh, I moved from Indonesia, took a year of uh, uh, sabbatical year, and I went back to Italy and I did the class. And then I decided to completely change my work path and my career. And I become my, and pattern engineer becomes my, my job since then. So how did the, uh, the pattern making and prototyping class that you took at our tutorial school uh, support your professional development? Oh, it's, it's still ongoing, so our tutorial is still part of my professional development, I can tell you. We are still friends and and we still collaborate with our tutorial. It's uh, how they impacted and they changed my work and my work development is uh, giving me the opportunity to really unleash my potential since that the school is also in a fabulous place that is Milan, where there is this mix of cultures and uh, there are this kind of mentality that's very entrepreneur, there is fashion, there is design, there is engineer, there is this attention to making and show what you do. And uh, since then, as I said, I really wanted to build a strong relation with the school and be part of my professional development and share with also colleagues and other people that I cross by during my career here in US and in Italy. So uh, it's, it's still ongoing. Uh, we will still have a re relation in terms of developing even new method of engineering issues. So uh, it's, it's a fantastic relation, I would say. Thank you, Piero. This is really uh, um, caring and lovely to hear. Um, you pretty much already answer it, but I always uh, complete this uh, brief interviews with alumni by asking the same thing, which is, would you then recommend to attend a class at our tutorial? Oh, yes, for sure. I will recommend to the all the people that are, have interest on in making and food tour and bags and fashion to attend the tutorial, to, to 
have a look to the website and understand that in the future, we're going to have even more people that you don't need to work and have an experience like me probably, or, or that the goal is, that the final goal is to work in a big corporation. Have owning the making part of something, owning what is behind the product and understand what is the, what are all the criteria of making something is really only your career. So Arsutoria is a, is a fantastic school, as I said, that can permit you to understand how a shoe is made. In my case, I did the shoe pattern engineer class. But what, despite of what is going to be your final goal, that could be, as I said, a designer or be an entrepreneur and open your own business or work for a corporation as I'm doing now, become a director, become a manager and manage other people that do that or work for marketing or sales it's in any case owning what is behind the creation of the product and in the future what i believe is we if you want to change how this world because probably for the problem that we have with the environment is we have really to impact of how we make and produce things and it's only understanding what is behind the engineering part of that that you can do that you can have an understanding and on top of that as i said it, uh, the school is located in a fantastic place where you can really have an understanding of what fashion is and what the design is, which is very important. And there is the diversity of the school is huge. You are you collaborate with people abroad and around the world, and it's a, such a very good thing for the new generation, but even not for the new generation, for everyone. So I would say that I highly recommend to have an experience as, as I had at Asutoria. Thank you. Thanks again, Piero. We really appreciate uh, your time and for sharing your opinion. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, see you here in Milan when, when possible. Thank you very much, Marcia. It's been an uh, honor. <laughs>